Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more In the Name of Jerusalem to the medieval mod set in the 11th or 12th century just before the Third Crusade and things have been going pretty well. However, this is not how we left things. I made a pretty big mistake. I accidentally saved the game to the uh, to the auto saves, unfortunately. And then when I was playing another mod, messing around with that, it obviously overwritten them because they're auto saves, and that left us with this save, which I was supposed to overwrite. But obviously, unfortunately, it didn't. So it does mean we are a little bit further back. The war with the Ayyubid Sultanate is still raging on, and some of you may remember this battle from a couple episodes ago. And basically, what I think I'm going to do now is just play from this point on. And when the war with the Ayyubid Sultanate is, does end, because in the other campaigns or the other playthrough uh, where I overwrit it, I'm pretty sure it ended like just after this battle. So the plan is to just basically stop that from happening. We'll we'll just use console commands to keep the war going and we'll just fight it out. We'll basically just fight out this war with the Ayyubid Sultanate uh, until we've obviously reclaimed everything or maybe we've lost uh, Jerusalem itself. So let's dive in and fight this battle. We managed to win it last time. It actually looks kind of worse for us than it does last time. I actually can't remember exactly. However, the battle should be, and another reason to kind of stick around and watch this one, is the battle should be performing way better. Yeah, look at that FPS. Oh, 135 FPS. Uh, if you guys don't know, you missed the last episode or something. I do have a new PC set up now so um, again it's running like an absolute beautiful machine if I do say so myself also a different map as well so it's gonna be interesting I remember we literally just won this battle in the previous episode like it was very very close so we'll have to see how we perform uh, in this one hopefully we can hopefully we can win it uh, I'd be very upset if we we ended up losing this one after winning it previously uh, but hopefully it's a victory I think for the most part as well what I'm going to do is I'm just going to obviously mirror wherever the AI goes. I want to utilize my cavalry to hit their horse archers. This is the main strength of the enemy formation. So if we can take that out, it's going to be easy. And we want to basically draw them in to our main line anyway. So let's turn these guys around, get them to charge now. And we also want to push our infantry into them as well if we can help it. Because if our infantry hits into them and we can... Oh my, I'm already dead. That's not a good sign, right? I got couch lanced like nobody's business. That's not good at all. There's this smashed in bone. We're getting some pretty good kills so far. In on the, I think the infantry support is a massive help. We just need to make sure we don't overextend here. Yeah, let's make sure we don't overextend. I can't believe I already died as well. It's so bad. Let's get our infantry back uh, if we can. The uh, the cavalry can come back on the flank. And this infantry can do, still just stay here. Yeah. So I think it's a good idea to utilize that as best as we can. It is throwing forward their own archers, which is a little bit, I think, of a waste. But should be okay. Let's put out our sword again. I think stabbing with the sword as well would be a pretty good plan of action. I should also, if I can, uh, look for a uh, look for a spear on the ground. That would be pretty useful. Let's go after all these lightly armored soldiers. This sword is going to bounce off all the heavy armors. But yeah, these lightly armored soldiers are going to be yeah much easier to kill. And we can definitely bring these, these archers down quite nicely as well. The cavalry is coming back at us. Uh, our cavalry is on that flank, which I think is fine. Our smaller group of infantry needs to form a shield wall if they can. And we just see, yeah, block them down. All these arch these arrows do a lot of damage. And yeah, look at that. We are, we are murdering their cavalry. Doing good old Alexander strategy of, like, combining our infantry is really good. Really, really good. Uh, and then for the, the time being, let's get this cavalry around the flank. Because I don't really honestly think we, we needed too much in the, the cavalry fight. They, they seem to be doing a pretty good job. The, uh, the AI's Templars are getting stuck in as well. Yeah, I'm happy with this performance so far. We get him off his horse. Oh, he's just about to escape. It should be fine. Let's come around here. Take out a few of these archers. We just played very passively to begin with. Yeah, and these archers are ill-supported. Uh, where's my cavalry? My cavalry's down the flank now. So I'm going to get them stuck in here. And we're going to charge... Oh, I'm a bit, in a bit of a tricky situation here. I'm going to get my cavalry round. Uh, let's get them. Let's get them into a wedge quickly. Now all oh, got them down. I'm down. Let's go line. And we're gonna just charge them in. That's a lot of missile fire. And then cavalry charge. Let's go into them. That should be perfect. Oh, we're gonna massacre them. Yeah, that's gonna rip through that line very nicely. We're in a bit of a precarious spot, but I'm hoping we can get one of these horses. Cavalry should be back out now. I'm more just commanding more than anything else. Yes, we come flying back in. We've got so much arrow fire on us. Oh, and no, I'm down again. Okay, well, that's fine. Can we uh, can we get on this horse or not? We can. Nice. Be careful with our cavalry not to overextend, though. But there, yeah, they're just harassing the crap out of their missiles. Is it worth pushing our infantry now? 
I don't know. Is it? Oh, look at this sword as well. What a monstrous sword. The AI has pushed their line forward. I'm not sure if that's something that... We oh, this sword is insane. Yeah, this sword is like the best anti-infantry. Okay, let's put out our cavalry. And yeah, let's push forward our infantry. This seems like a pretty... Oh, they're running now? Okay, they're running now. So just charge. Charge these guys down at all costs. We want to hit them as they're, as they're retreating. And push forward everything else, right? I think so. They're, they are reforming, right? But we do want to be chasing them down as they're fleeing. It seems silly not to be able to take advantage of all of this. We can... Yeah, this sword does nothing to heavily armored targets. But lightly armored targets is where it... Bloody battle so far. Lots of bodies on the ground. They are reforming. We're just going to let them... Uh, I don't want to obviously take that on. We're in a pretty good formation still. Uh, so no need to worry too much there. We're going to bring back this infantry. The archers can get some shots off. Our cavalry is reformed. We are unfortunately down to like 33 horses. So we're not looking super pretty there. But we should still have enough to, uh, to win this fight. It's going to be pretty hard with missile fire. Their cavalry is also harassing. So let's get our horses send them over to engage them. Our archers are a little bit vulnerable. We should be okay. Ideally, what we want to have happen is we want to bring them in. There's a lot of missile fire coming in, though. We don't really have much in the way to retaliate. Yeah, they've got a lot of archers. So we should probably try and push on them if we can. My cavalry is overextending. And it's enough to bring them back. So let's kind of go around the flank. I'm going to try and get one of these horses as well. No, nope, can't get one of these horses. Yeah, I'm just very nervous of the amount of missiles the AI actually has there. It's going to be a bit much for us, I think. Uh, and we just don't really have enough to shoot back. Okay, we want to take this advantage whilst the AI is like messing around. We want to push forward here because I do want to get my infantry involved here. Our square can go up as well in line. Uh, our little block of infantry here. Now, we are vulnerable, of course, to enemy missile fire and, of course, enemy cavalry as we're charging up. But this should, I think, pan out okay. As long as our cavalry is, like, moving around them and causing issues, I think we'll be able to get close enough to them where we're not receiving that much missile fire. I'm also going to get my own missiles. We're going to set them on or engage. That's way, that way they're going to basically push the enemy as much as possible. I mean, I really do think our infantry is going to be able to overrun them. So let's get them into a scale formation as we're getting closer uh, and then get ready to charge. And then we just charge. We just go in. Let's go. Let's show them the, the, the true steel of us Westerners, eh, boys? Yeah, they get their, their lines run. The scale formation. And of course, we need the cavalry to charge as well. We need them to come in. Cause some issues. Their main infantry line is now in. So I only, I only have a club, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is good. It will be, will be good. It will be very effective against more of the heavily armored soldiers. These lightly armored soldiers are going to probably be able to get away. I think our cavalry just hit them from the back as well. Perfect. Make sure none of their, their cavalry gets stuck in. Let's have our own horses as well wherever we can. I don't think we need to, though. I think we've got them on the run right off the bat. Perfect. Yeah. You're not friendly, right? No, you are. You're, you're not friendly. Let's hit him. Our spears do nothing against them. Have a horse as well is never a bad plan of action either. Like, it is pretty effective to do so if you can. Nice. Especially one of their elites taken care of. That's perfect. This, uh, this lone soldier is doing a good job considering he's like our lowest tier man. I'm proud of him. He will, uh, yeah, he will get himself a little bit of ale, I think, after this battle has been concluded. I'm not sure if that was better or worse than the last time we fought this battle. Oh, and someone actually died as well. Milo de, de Calavadio uh, has been uh, taken uh, to the afterlife. Hopefully a warrior's death, though. Uh, and we have to clear this up, obviously, which I can just send the boys to do because some soldiers retreat. It's kind of weird, right? Like, but you have to actually do that as a base Enough. battle lord thing. I choose to live to fight another. Uh, then you shall be... Oh, yeah, she captured a bunch. But yeah, as I say, it's kind of weird, right? Because obviously the soldiers you then have to fight are the soldiers who retreated from battle and it's like what's the point of retreating if you're just going to get caught again yeah it doesn't really make sense but i feel like there's a few things like that in battle law that just do not make sense whatsoever so stay with prisoners as many as we can because we can sell them uh and we can also use them for influence which we are in a bit of a desperate need to we will take all the food and water because we are in a bit of a uh, uh, a tricky situation with that as well take the horses and we'll just take everything else as experience not experience really matters much in this mob but we'll still take it nonetheless Whew. okay so a little bit behind the scenes for some reason after that battle we actually couldn't get out of it it's the first time i've actually ever seen that happen we were like hard locked in the battle um and it just wouldn't let me leave it just kept on saying chase the enemies down or leave and it was just locked there so i basically reloaded the save and then went in and then console command killed the entire ai army which did give me a bit of experience but it was really the only way to beat that soft lock i don't know yeah i don't know what was up i've never seen that happen before but most likely it's just down to the fact that uh that the 
AI uh, and this mod in general is just constantly getting updated on the workshop for me. So again, that's going to cause mismatches. Okay, awesome. So taking back this settlement is going to be a big boom to our kind of overall strength. I'm going to head back to either Jaffa or Jerusalem. Let's go to Jerusalem because I have a ton of prisoners from uh, auto resolving that battle like I did. So we want to go dump them off. That should be worth a decent amount of influence as well. Um, actually, only three of them. I thought we had a few more, but that's fine. But I mean, still, that's, that's 53 influence from having them lords and throwing them in the dungeon. So we will take that for sure. I also want to make sure we have enough food, which we do. Uh, we have enough mounts. Any other interesting uh, bits of armor? Uh, I mean, that's... Uh Worth a lot of money. It's not better either. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Uh, we have some helmets as well. There's some, definitely some cool helmets in there. None that we really need. Okay, so we have the perfect number of men. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move down back to our settlements. We're going to go and resupply our soldiers in any way we can. And then I'm just going to say, you know, screw it. The AI can deal with whatever's up there. I'm going to head into uh, into Egypt and just start taking settlements. You know, we're going to come down here, try and secure the desert settlements. Because these are going to be pretty hard to retake. Uh, and that should hopefully again draw some of the army south. I think that's going to be a big, big boom for us. Uh, let's see if we can recruit anyone else. So we can have another 10 men. Uh, I'm going to see if there's any other elite soldiers raring to go because that would be pretty beautiful. So we also have this with the Ayubid Sultanate giving their proposal. Uh, we are going to abstain from this, but I am going to give it maybe a couple minutes, like maybe like a week in game. I and mean, I'm just going to redeclare the war because, again, for the purposes of you guys getting some exciting action, I think that's going to be fine. But it's also going to give us a good chance for you know our armies to build back up and stuff. And the Ayubid Sultanate has to go deal with other people. Um, so I think that should be fine. Uh, and we'll basically just be ready as soon as the war begins to uh, die. Okay, then let's restart this war and kick it back off with a nice little attack it was a short-lived piece but it does kind of sum up the crusaders i don't think we were able to really build up much more strength here we are very similar however they are also fighting antioch now as well uh, i guess after our war uh, has finished so that's gonna i'm hope uh give them a little bit more of a, a problem and a reason to stay more north and that will give us a chance to kind of uh, I, I guess take back some land so uh, i guess the third crusade has well and truly started we've also got serfdom to vote on personally don't really i mean we can't afford to vote on it anyway but i think serfdom's not too bad you gain a bit more influence and also you gain security which does in general help with the hearth growth and the other bonuses uh which is always nice we have uh, built our camps our initial preparations the question is do we go in for this do i attempt to assault them before they build any more of these catapults I think so. I think I think we do go in here. We have obviously way better soldiers than they do, and we we should be able to hopefully use it to our advantage. I'm not gonna lie though. Honestly, the uh, the, the same settlement every single time is starting to get a little bit uh, tedious. Because of course, if you don't know, uh, right now I'm pretty sure most of the settlements in the game are set to this one, this castle. The cities are different, but the castles are mainly set to this one, um, and we've fought on it so many uh, times because they want to of course make all their custom ones and right now no, you know, this mod is for beta testing um, so there's no real reason for them to change it but of course for someone like me who's uh, having a lot of fun playing it yeah it does uh, it does get a little bit tedious. Hopefully though it's still enjoyable to watch and you guys are having a good time. I will try my best to minimize uh, the siege assaults as much as I can. I also really really want to get my hands on uh, one of are you guys not coming? Yeah, charge, boys, charge. Let's go. I really want to get my hands on on the Italian soldier weapon that uh, we had. That weapon was absolutely insane. So getting that under our control would be amazing. I also would not mind his sword either. Uh, did I pick it up? I think I did. Let's fall back both for now. Pull out our sword. No, I picked up his, his darts, his arrows. I don't know why I picked up, actually. Making pretty good work of their assaulting force, or a defensive force, I should say. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're very lightly armored, so... Not something we have to worry about. Uh, we really destroyed their flag. We're pushing past that. Maybe pick up a rock and see if we can throw it down. I obviously don't want to lose any uh, weapons yet. Uh, can we get a nice little hit there? Ooh, I just did a bit of friendly fire. And I uh, received a punch before that. I enjoy I'm interested to see how well this sword does, though. Yeah. Okay, it's crazy how much better these swords are uh, in these sieges. That's why I hope they give us a, a separate kind of uh, uh, equipment slot so we can actually have a, a, a completely different load out for when we fight sieges because yeah i don't really want um i don't really want you know maces and spears in these siege battles i'd much rather yeah like weapons that can cut through militia effectively i also hope in it as well that they do give us the option to have more elite militia 
Uh, I, I always feel like Bannerlord is missing that. Of course, you can just drop an elite garrison, but nobody ever wants to put their best units inside of a garrison, you know, on the off chance that they, they do get attacked. So it would be nice to have like an ultimate tier of militia, which would just be like very, very, very strong infantry. Maybe they're like rare and don't get many of them. Uh, but it would still be cool to have kind of a, a tougher garrison if you put the money uh, and you have the effort in maybe upgrading the building. I don't think we really need to chase them into the keep. The boys uh, have that under control. Uh, yeah, nice fix. We actually didn't even lose a single man. A couple wounded. To be expected, though. To be expected. Oh, well, we could pick up a mercenary camel rider. Uh, I mean, why not? Really? And then these guys upgrade into some decent bandit cavalry as well. Yeah, sure. We do always need the extra men and a lot of people leveled up from that battle which is great to see because we do have a lot of low tier infantry uh, and the quicker they level up the better also got a bowman's flag as well that's not bad i'm sure we could get a companion that could command the archers and just having six percent more damage on them is going to be nice let's grab that bad boy up and we'll make sure that we keep it i will take of course all the food and water because we are in the desert and we'll grab the horses and everything else can just go towards level up to a pillage for settlement of course because i want to keep everybody happy and nice that's a nice little kind of alpha strike we could head back now uh we have course need to also upgrade this as well yeah we could head back and take this it, i kind of want to because it annoys me when we're not taking in a proper setup or we could push into egypt i probably do have enough men honestly to maybe go for one of these larger cities but yeah let's do it i can't just sit idly by and just leave our settlement there so let's head over here it just seems like it's, it hasn't been placed uh, fully correctly here I can't even click it so maybe it is just like a placeholder for now so maybe we will actually go into i guess yeah i guess we will i guess we will go into egypt because it doesn't seem like that settlement is fully functional at the moment day another victory okay so that's basically the entirety of the frontier taken which is big like having that secured is just nice it's castles into our lands from the south and we can basically really push on oh that's a good helmet yeah that's a really good helmet we're gonna take that one it's, it's more armor definitely worth it of course the rest of experience can go there we'll pillage the castle once again but yeah by taking this castle it basically secures our southern front if the ayubas want to launch an invasion from the south through egypt we have to go through two of our castles and then i believe there's, I believe there's another castle there and then there's my castle another castle there so there's like four castles protecting our richer cities down here in the south i also yeah i also believe that we're, we're taking land back in the north as well i think we always had tyree but yeah, we definitely did not have Sidon. We definitely didn't have Beirut either. So good on us. We are we are fighting a good fight here. The question is, is where do we go from here? I'm tempted to dive across this strait and maybe hit their settlement here. Uh, again, ignore the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the incomplete pathing. But yeah, this settlement uh, down here only has 420 men and we don't really have a ton of soldiers. So I'm thinking this is going to be our final push. We're going to take this settlement and then we're going to kind of call it quits down here in the south. I mean, granted, there are more castles to take, but yeah, I think this is going to be our limit. We've taken, what, three? Annoyingly, though, the king is refusing to actually give me these elements, which is always very frustrating. Okay, I think we have to go now. The army is falling apart, and we just have to commit to this. We outnumber them slightly, but not by a lot. I haven't built myself a siege tower and a battering ram. I'm hoping for the best that that's going to be enough as they have artillery. And I'm not going to lie, it does Everyone. feel pretty good having I'm everybody not uh, everybody not in one massive group. We are going to tell everybody, though, to form a line because I don't want you guys clumped up whatsoever and I want you guys spread out yeah for some reason the AI is just committing to like having everybody in one block and maybe that is a me thing um and that's the reason by doing it which is in the end of the world we can just blitz them oh this is gonna hurt so much boy you guys oh thank god that missed okay okay let's wherever ladders ladders are here Again, I would love to go up the siege tower, but it's going to take a little while to get up there. So let's just for now push up the uh, the battering ram. The archers are scattering and the infantry. I mean, honestly, the infantry needs to be in like a loose formation. I do not want to get killed by the artillery. Luckily, I don't think the artillery is actually in range right now. And it's busy focusing down the artillery piece, which again makes complete sense. If they can kill oh, this. Oh, God. Yeah, right now they're there. I think it's a little bit out of range. So that does give our infantry a bit more time to get into cover. We are going for our siege equipment pretty heavily. Yeah, look at that. They actually managed to destroy our equipment. That's not good. That is not good at all. But if we can get these ladders up, that's going to be a massive help for us. Um, if we just need to get on the walls, basically. Let's get both the ladders up, please. Both of them. Uh, and then start charging. And that should... And if they can just get up on the wall, we can basically completely negate their artillery. Don't let them push it down, boys. Do you guys remember as well? I swear, back in the old 
the old like what's coming next to battle was literally like almost a year ago there was an image of them showing off like when someone knocked down a ladder it actually killed people like it did if for example in like helm's deep or something if you guys remember that i mean what am i saying of course you guys remember that's the greatest battle of all time in cinematic history so of course you guys would remember that in its gloriousness but yeah they, they showed that we haven't really heard anything from uh, that side of things in some time. But also, I think the only two things we're really waiting for is, is that and also claimants as well. The ability to kind of like take over kingdoms through claimants that we had in Warband. And yeah, we haven't really heard much from uh, from Tail Worlds about that, which is a shame because that obviously is a cool way of going about conquering a kingdom, new leaders and clans coming up, which is a real shame. It's a real shame. Let's give this guy... We were getting hammered by the archers down there. Let's pull back a little bit then. Yeah, there's a few too many. And we are struggling as well to actually get up here. The AI is actually doing a very good job here. I wouldn't mind picking up a sword. If we can kill some of these guys. But yeah, they're pretty staunch defense right now. There you go. We go down, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, maybe a bit too cocky. That artillery is hammering us as well. It's about the battering rams taken care of as well. We're just not getting up here. Do we shift? We can't even shift over here because the ladder's not there. So yeah, the entirety of the AI force is just up here hitting us. Okay. I mean, it's not great. Just need to get up here. But it's hard to do. Oh, they're going to get knocked off. I don't think this battle is working. Like, they've just got too much of a better defensive position. We only have 150 men left. We've already lost 100. We have a few more things that are just waiting to spawn in. We're just not making enough progress. I'm going to give it a little bit more time. But yeah, we, we need better equipment. And uh, we maybe need to breach. I think if we had a breach, we could force our way through. But I think I might just retreat. Yeah, we're going to retreat, I think. F7. Let's get out of here. It's just not worth it. We're losing too many men. Let's just fall back. I know it's embarrassing. But I think maybe we, we fall back. That artillery is going to hurt. And then maybe we try, try, if we have enough, we try and make a breach and go again. Let's do it. Pretty embarrassing, honestly. Luckily, we still have plenty of men. So we're going to uh, continue siege preparations for now. We're not going to overcommit. There is actually 165 men off the coast. And they're bringing in a few more men as well to reinforce. Okay, that's not good. We need to heal up quickly and then maybe try and take this. We have another siege tower on the go. What I might do is I might counter that and just start building artillery. Oh, wow. Okay, the AI has really brought their soldiers into there. There's, what, 250, 300, 500, 700 soldiers. We're going to have to probably try and flee or attempt to take the city. There are two options right now. And I think, realistically, we're just going to go all in. We're just going to go for it this time. Uh, we don't have any siege equipment, so it is just up both the ladders. And yeah, we're just going to charge and hope for the best, I think. And just take the city and then try and hold it in a siege defense. Because there's no way I can defeat these 700 men. There's no, I mean, we, could, we could retreat to the south, but I don't think it's going to be successful. So let's just give it another go. Okay, let's do this. Let's get our infantry up immediately. We're just going to have to rush their defenses as quickly as possible. Hope that we can get enough men up here. Get the gates open. If we can get the gates open, that'll be a big, big help. Well, that artillery's hurting as well. Yeah, you guys are all in line, which is fine. Uh, can we get these ladders up quickly as well? Okay, let's get our ass up there. The other equipment is now being pushed up. We want to prevent them from basically being able to, to drop this down. And we can just get soldiers up right off the bat. Let's make sure. God, there's so many soldiers on either side. I'm hoping that by doing this, we've like drawn them off enough that they're not really going to be looking uh, to hit us hard. I mean, you guys just charge as well. Uh, you guys are a little bit delayed. We just don't really have a lot of men. We have like 300 men, right? But yeah, not everybody's spawned for some reason. We don't actually have that many. I mean, this is going to be a make or break situation for us, I think. Can we get our, like, our, our weapon over? Yeah, no, they're going to be very annoying there. Oh my god, how are they still hitting me? Okay, okay, I mean, we have to just go up, I guess. Not, not, like, normally our archers would be doing a great job here. And let's just try and, like, jump off and get round. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. I'll take that. I really need a sword of some kind, though. Oh, that artillery, what the hell? How is that artillery still able to hit us? Okay, we're just going to play very defensive here. The rest of the boys get up. Oh, like the soldiers on the other side going up? Yeah, okay. But annoyingly, for whatever reason, the AI reformed. Let's just keep that shield up. Try and maybe take one of these daggers, force them into a situation. And we'll just see. Again, I, I might still retreat and just try and escape with the army if I can. I'm very low on HP as well. Uh, none of these daggers are that good. But we have silenced his artillery. And we are making progress on this right-hand side. 
which is good. I want to try and pick up like a better uh, weapon that I can actually utilize, like a bamboo spear or something. Can I pick this up? Oh, there's a sword there. That's a good sword as well, I think. Uh, can we grab that, please? Men are dying, my lord. Okay, no. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, this uh, this weapon just does not cut it. Probably pick up these and maybe lob them in. Man, that doesn't even do much damage. Imagine getting hit from that. We okay, managed to pick up a spear, which should be a little bit more uh, damage if we can drag it in on some people. Keep ourselves from the archers. I don't know. We're doing okay now. This is such a make or break battle, though, which is what's so scary. They're utilizing their longer formations as well pretty effectively. I will give them credit for that. Can we just kill this guy? There we go. Okay, now we can start using the spear to our advantage. Maybe try and deal with some of these archers who are definitely getting some decent kills. Utilize the range. I'll definitely avoid them archers, though. Shield. Oh, I was going to say shield bash him. That's fine, though, but we die. Because now I get to actually utilize someone with a good weapon, a good infantry killing weapon. So, yeah. Even if it only does, what, like 40 damage, it's still double the amount of damage we were getting. Let's uh, try and take out this guy. Again, that archer, that kind of killing zone they have with the archers there are very potent. We do need to be careful. Luckily, they are coming in here. We'll pull out our falchion. Yeah, 93 damage to the head. That's what we want to do. And we're actually pushing them back already. Okay, that's good. That's going to secure us this front hold. How are we doing on the left-hand side? Yeah, breaking through as well. Okay. Maybe we maybe got the AI a little bit on the, uh, the run, which is not something I'm going to complain about because we, we need it. We need every uh, we need every bit. But I think they were holding us there. The archer kill zones were brutal. But the breaches have opened up. And are they just full on retreating or are they going back to the gatehouse? Yeah, I think a lot of their soldiers are just straight up retreating. Which is a shame. Like, this game should have multiple uh, retreat points. Like, the, the, the AI behavior should trigger like that. You know, like they're doing now. Like they're, they're falling back. The, the walls are lost. They're giving up. But a lot of the time, they just run away. They run back to the keep and hide. There should be another fallback position, whether it's like in the streets here or like around the gatehouse. I don't know. I feel like... Oh, here we go. Now we're talking with a weapon to kill infantry. Uh, there definitely should be like a multiple, like a, another fullback position. If, if the AI has enough men, they should 100% do that. I honestly think that small change would be a massive like boom to the game. Like it would just make them sieges so much more epic. Having different positions the AI could fall back and defend. Like that last stand outside the keep rather than inside. And then maybe they fall back a little bit more. I think would be great. Also, this axe is not doing a lot of damage to that armor. We got him eventually though. And there you go. That all has been won. But at what cost? Also, remember, we're going to have to defend this afterwards as well. So it's not like it's been the cleanest victory. Imagine if we were just fighting over here. Like, we were fighting in the courtyards and in the street. Oh, it'd be so cool. I suppose Battlelord won't make it happen. It makes you have 150 men. Okay, we'll see what the altar resolve uh, says if we do it. It's so silly as well. The battle should be over. We've pushed them back to the keep and now we have to assault them again. That is a victory and we only lose two men. Okay, good. Nice. Good to see. Uh, we'll, of course, take the prisoners. Uh, and now we just have to bunker down inside of the settlement and hope for the best. We will pillage the city as well in case we lose it. And how many soldiers do we have? So we have 239. And they're good soldiers as well. We've got a lot of influence, which is going to help us build this back up. I mean, not by a lot, but by enough. Um, and then I guess, can we recruit any mercenaries? If we ransom our prisoners, we can recruit 10 Kurds, which is going to be good. That's, that's a lot more soldiers. Uh, unfortunately, we can't recruit anyone from here because it's not ours, which is a shame. Uh, we'll see if there's any extra food we can buy up. Again, oh, they've got so much fish. Okay, we'll take as much of that as possible. Go a little bit cannibal-esque and uh, that should keep us alive. And then really, we just have to bunk it down. And uh, it doesn't look like they're gonna, they want this. They, they, yeah, they definitely don't want it. They're, they're all falling back now. I wouldn't be surprised if they decided to go for the other places. But there we go. A nice little indent into enemy territory. Again, I should get this settlement, but... The, the, the Crusaders hate me for some reason. I think this two-front war is starting to go in our favor. Like, we are taking a lot of land here in in uh, in the territory. And then the AI is also moving in and conquering land uh, elsewhere as well. So, yeah, Antioch fighting this dual war with us is absolutely amazing. Uh, and a really, really yeah great job by them, I think. So, yeah, that's where we're going to wrap things up today, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. Let me know you want to see more of this mod on the channel. I think what we're going to do is probably only maybe one more episode 
episode of this series. It's kind of run its course. I think we've we've done some good fun, and I'll make it like an extra hour long special or something in the uh, in the last episode because uh, hopefully that will make it you know very enjoyable, and we'll get some big battles. I'll try and maybe fight a big land battle, some sieges, and we'll just go from there. And then you know if you guys want to see another faction, let me know in the comments what type of faction you'd like to see, uh, whether it's a Byzantine or a Bulgarian or you know whatever you guys want to see. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one.